let's recall some aspects of uh, functions. Um, a function is always associated with some definition uh, set and some range, the value set. So um, we can call this the domain of definition, if you like, uh, this D, uh, and R is a range. Um, and generally, these two sets may be of different uh, elements. Uh, but in our case, when we are dealing with complex uh, functions, uh, both D, the domain of definition and the range are supposed to be subsets of the complex plane. So what is this function f? Uh, well, generally a function f is just a rule for assigning each element in the domain of definition one unique element in the range. Um, so that's a rule which uh, exists for any uh, value set in the domain of definition. Um, in our case, the domain of the uh, definition is the complex plane, so any set can be written on this form the rectangular form or the polar form as we know it. And the value f offset, which is uh, the assignment, the, the assigned value of set, which f is a rule of, rule for, uh, this value is also a complex number which we will def we will um, symbolize in the following way. Uh, we can either represent it in rectangular form as we do here or in polar form uh, which we do here. So let's just give an example which illustrates this. Uh, this example is f of s x f of set is equal to set square. In this case f of set which we can write x plus i y um, is equal to this guy and if we know um, multiply x plus i y with x plus i y we obtain this complex number x square minus y square just do it and you will see that you get this result plus i times 2xy so this is the real part of our uh, function value and this is the imaginary part um, we can also represent it in polar form um, or this set value can be represented in polar form uh, then we obtain this expression r times e um, in the power of i phi and this is squared so we get r square multiplied with e in the power of i 2 uh, phi so if we replace this exponential function by the trigonometric uh, value here we obtain this expression so um, when we multiply uh, r square with this trigonometric function we obtain this rectangular form um, the, the real part is r square cosine to 2 times the, the, the value phi and the imaginary part is this. So here we have an example of a complex function. 
here is another example if we take the absolute value of the uh, offset uh, square then we obtain this and um, this is re the absolute value of a complex uh, number uh, we know how to deal with this we just have to take the square root of the square of x plus the square of y and in this definition we want to square this expression so then we obtain this value but we know note that this value is a real value it uh, has no imaginary value uh, this means that the imaginary value is zero so well in this case this u which is the, the real part of the function is x square plus y square and the imaginary part is zero we have also other types of functions polynomials for examples for example f of z equal to zero a zero plus a one z plus a two z square and so on exactly the same as in the real case and also for rational functions rational functions means that you have um, some fraction uh, where the dom uh, the denominator is a polynomial and the den denominator is a polynomial well uh, we usually use some terms mapping mappings means that we are mapping uh, uh, we say that we are mapping a point in the set plane in the uh, domain of definition to the range of the function um, so as we told earlier each point in the uh, this definition uh, domain of definition is assigned a, a specific um, uh, point in the uh, range which is a value plane if you or value set if you like we say that f of some set capital s uh, is the image of a set s uh, and what does this mean the, this means the set of point points uh, which are uh, the image under this uh, uh, operation and so this is all points all points f of set in the range uh, where set is some function some point in the um, the domain of definition that's called the set f of set so well if we call d the domain of definition um, then f of d is the range so that's the image of the uh, domain of definition the inverse image um, of some point w is the set of all points um, set in the domain of definition such that f of set is equal to w so in the case when the function is one to one um, then it, this set of this uh, inverse image consists of only one point.